Yeah. I'm here in, in Italy, in a, a small town here, because I'm picking up tomorrow Mark, a friend that I met uh, climbing the Mont Blanc. I don't want you in the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually gonna pick him up at the airport and uh, then we're driving a little bit further like an hour more to another l town where we are going to ascend uh, Monte Rosa so it's a huge mountain area but I would like to talk in this vlog also about mental preparation I, I have learned some some things about climbing mountains and with that also how to mentally prepare and when you're climbing how to mentally keep battling up so the first thing that I do, and I've done this with each mountain, I start visualizing the most difficult climb that is almost impossible. If someone would tell me that I'm going to find an end in an, ar an arena to live and dead, I'll be preparing in my head to fight a dragon. You will feel more stressed. Stress is not a bad thing in life. Stress is a very helpful tool to, to not make you lazy. Stress helps you to move, to go and do something, to go and prepare, to go and run, to go and hike in preparation for this mountain. Because then when I'm actually climbing the mountain, I'm always like, wow, this is quite okay. <laughs> compared to what it was like in my head. And that to me is good. That to me is good, that I have that feeling on that moment, because you don't want it the other way around. So the Wim Hof method is uh, a technique, a method uh, by Wim Hof, also known as the Iceman. Check him out and definitely check out the Wim Hof method, uh, which is breathing and cold exposure. But the breathing itself is by itself really powerful. And it, I, I use the breathing technique Basically, you take in big breaths, you know, big breaths and you exhale, but you don't exhale 100% all of the oxygen. So you, you breathe in 100%, breathe out, but only breathe out about 80%. That you store 20% of what you just breathed in, keep it in there and build that on to go into the whole science and everything uh, that's where Wim Hof can better explain that so I will link actually in the description of this vlog uh, some of his material uh, so you can you can check out more of the science and the research that's been done on it once you're over 3000 meters especially then you can get more altitude sickness the air gets thinner so to me it just always felt like a logical thing to then just breathe more you know to just do this technique of the Wim Hof method and it has always for me shown to be really effective to be honest breathing is so underestimated and knowing an effective breathing method like the Wim Hof method is really helpful during moments like that where you can help your body you know you can help your body when you are taking such a challenge such a physical demanding challenge on the last one that I do you gotta realize it is, you're gonna suffer. You are gonna suffer. When you're climbing, it is not like you're laying on a beach with a cocktail in your hand and you're just doing nothing, relaxing, you know, watching the ocean. <laughs> you are, when you're climbing a mountain, you're going through pain, you know, you're going through physical pain. You are, you know, you haven't eaten much, you haven't slept much, you are, you haven't drank much water, you know, you, you can't, right, and you are, under a high altitude, you know, climbing upwards with all this equipment on, it, it, you know, and it's maybe through snow, it's warm, or it's, or it's raining, or, you know, it's, a lot of things are happening, and it is not comfortable, it is absolutely not comfortable. When you, when you see me climbing in these videos, uh, in these vlogs, when you see me climbing, you don't, you don't feel what I feel, you don't, you don't have the internal voice in, in my head. You, you don't see all those things that are happening behind the scenes in me, right? But I am struggling. I 
am going through discomfort and as well and this is a voice that naturally happens in everyone when you are when your body is going through discomfort that tells me like ah you should stop like you know don't continue this is not pleasant and the main thing that has helped me in those moments the most and it's gonna sound so simple but it's so effective is just realizing when it really gets tough every step you know every step as small as it is as slow as it is every step counts so these are a few things very simple but very effective and over these last few years now climbing mountains uh, I've done them with each mountain and they've always proven very effective and I could recommend you to give them a try in uh, mentally preparing before and during the climb you know to keep yourself mentally sharp uh, and to prepare mentally you can apply this actually for any big challenge that you're taking on whether it is a mountain or 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 you know you're doing a public speech or or whatever maybe even for a date or something i don't know how that will look but you can apply these things to any big challenge uh, but it's very effective for me with mountains so give it a try Signal up here. Hey. You have phone going on, Mark? Is the clock or a phone call? 